Hi guys, it's Dean and welcome to Dean's Den. Today I'd like to talk about time. Time is so important with what we do because it goes hand in hand with money and profit. If you're wasting time, it's costing you money and then you're losing on the profit. One of the ways we can work with this is to come up with a very good routine for cleaning the car. My routine is going to be different than somebody down in Texas or somebody out in California. It, it all goes by environment. So your environment has to do a lot with your specific routine. But it is important that you have one because what you want to happen is while you're doing one thing, you want something else to be happening at the same time. What I mean by that, if your floor mats are clean and they're hanging up on the wall and they're drying while you're working on the rest of the car, that's being efficient because now those mats are drying. You don't have to stand there and try and dry them. They're drying while you're doing something else. That makes a lot of sense. The interior, getting the interior shampooed, getting that out of the way, getting it cleaned. Leave it there so it's drying while you're working on the rest of the car. There's a certain order that I do everything in, in my routine. And the reason that is, is number one, it saves me time. And number two, I don't forget anything. On a full detail, it's so important that I do the engine compartment first. And the reason that is, number one, it's going to throw grease and oil all over the outside of the car. Number two, when it's done, it's out of the way. So when that hood's closed, I'm not going to forget it. It's already done. Same with the trunk. I open up the back of the vehicle. Whether it's a trunk or a hatch, it really doesn't matter. The idea is the same. If you get that area done and you close it up, then you know it's done and over with. You're not going to forget about it. Scheduling goes hand in hand with your routine. Now, you know from doing your routine how long it's going to take you to do a car. So it's important that you spread out your appointments properly so that you're not overbooking yourself because things can happen. Uh, people can call in sick. Uh, they may not be available to help you with a detail that day. Make sure that you've got some kind of plan in place so that you're going to get this vehicle done on time always. I tend to book at this time, I book one a day. Now, the reason I do that is because I'm not 25 years old anymore and I know how long it takes me to clean a car. My routines are based on an eight hour service. If I start that vehicle, let's say at 8 o'clock in the morning, I actually have until 6 o'clock at night to get that vehicle done. So I've got lots of wiggle room in there. So if I run into something that's going to take me a little more time or it's going to need a little more effort, I've got the time to play with it so I can get that done and get it knocked out on time. Getting your vehicles done right and getting them done on time is a very professional way of operating. You want to build that trust with the customer. You want to make sure that every single time they bring their vehicle there, they know that it's going to be done properly. It's going to be done on time. Another thing you have to take into consideration is the weather. In the winter time, what I do is I have the customers drop the vehicle off the night before. I store it in my garage, and then it has time to thaw out so that the next morning I'm starting on it. It's all warmed up, and it's ready to go. I'm ready to clean that vehicle. A lot of times, if the vehicle comes in at night, I'll knock off a few things that are going to be in the list of things to do tomorrow. So I may do the floor mats, I may do the trunk liner, I may get the trunk all cleaned out. I work on things that it won't really matter whether the car's warm or cold. So I try and get these things done. If you're trying to work on a car that's frozen solid first thing in the morning, you're bringing it in, it's covered in ice and snow, that's going to take you a lot of time. If that car's sitting in the garage overnight and the snow's just melting off it, then it's not going to be that difficult to work on it in the morning. Now, not everybody has that scenario. A lot of you guys are mobile detailers, so you're not going to have that benefit. But I'm just saying, no matter what your routine is, you need to think long and hard about it and think ahead so that when that job comes in, you already know what you have to have ready in order to get that job done as quick as you possibly can. Even if it means loading extra equipment for that day. If you know you're going out and doing a certain job, Check your vehicle the night before and make sure you've got everything packed. That way there, when you go out in the next morning and you've got your checklist and you're going through it and making sure you have everything, you've got everything on that truck. It doesn't hurt. Because if you go through that list, even visually, you go through the list and you say, oh yeah, I forgot that. I have a list in my shop and I go through that at the end of my detail. Now that list, that's a list of things when I first started of things I missed. So every time I made a mistake, I turned it into a positive. I went and I wrote that down. And then I said, okay, I forgot to check that area. I forgot to check that area. Then it became a checklist. What I'm saying here is try and think these things out as much as you can. Because if you become more efficient, you're going to save yourself a lot of time. And that's going to equal a lot of money. 
On the Detailers Guild group on Facebook, I've shared my routine. I'm also going to be putting up on ExtremeCarCleaning.com on our YouTube channel. Check it out there. I'm going to keep this one real short and sweet. So all I'm going to tell you guys is if you don't have a routine, get one because it's going to help you guys a lot. And I want to see you guys make as much money as you possibly can. Okay, I hope this helped. Please comment. If you guys have some fantastic routines that you've done, feel free to post them up on the Detailers Guild and share them with everybody. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Don't forget to also check out DJ Dell's Dynamic Music Podcast right here on the Detailers Guild. And you can also catch him at www.mixcloud.com slash DJ Dell 523. Thanks again for listening, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.